here. All right, Distinction, Distinction, Distinction has presented us this absolute masterpiece. So um, I got a little case of the flumps the last time that we played this deck, and this is a kind of a, like a, a slightly different iteration on it. It's leaning more in on the scam aspect, so we're playing with Ephemerate and Grief alongside the Solitudes that we had before. So alongside those with Teferi and Profane Tutor, you can kind of play this like more of a reasonable like mid-range type game. And also, Grief plus Ephemerate really sets up the combo very well, because you can clear out all of your opponent's kind of answers and whatever they may have to disrupt the combo. So I kind of like that angle and that aspect. And yeah, I mean, for those of you who don't know how the combo works, maybe you didn't see the last video that we did on this, Flumpf is a card that whenever it's dealt damage, you and each opponent draw a card. You and target opponent draw a card. If you combine that with Bowmaster, so you go play Bowmaster, deal a damage to the Flump. You both draw a card, which triggers the Bowmaster. Bowmaster, deal a damage to Flump, rinse, repeat. Now, normally, you would kill the Flump after four activations, but if you go, if you give the Flump indestructible, you have infinite activations of that loop, where you and your opponent both draw your entire deck, and because you're playing 63 cards, you're very likely to always have more cards than them. So that's the combo. Uh, we have both Blacksmith Skill and Shields to give Indestructible. Profane Tutor is another cool addition because it helps sets up the combo and also can find Ephemerate if you have a Grief and need to go that angle. Uh, Teferi Time Raveler, very powerful card, very good at stopping your opponent uh, from comboing because the issue with the combo is part of the combo means that you, your opponent draws their entire deck. So if they have any sort of removal, they're going to draw into it. So you kind of do need Teferi to be able to protect the combo, which I do like that. And then two Gemstone Caverns kind of an interesting addition to uh, kind of maybe help speed up the deck a little bit. And then let me look at the sideboard and we even have more transformational package here. We have four stone forge with a cauldra, a batter skull and a warrant piece to kind of board into a mid range deck alongside a shield rid. So we can really lean into the mid range plan with our like grief scam solitude uh, angle. Leylands for graveyard decks, fatal push for monkeys and such. And then the fourth copy of Teferi. This deck is super sweet. I, I love the sideboard stone forges. Should be 69. Ah, come on. 69 is only for the Flump Mirror. This deck wants Troll for the black count. 4, 8, 12. I mean, 15 is low for the black count, but I don't really think that... Like, the only cards you could consider cutting, I think, are Spell Pierces. And maybe these should just be more black cards. Maybe, like, fourth copy of Thoughtseize. And maybe, like, a main deck Fatal Push or an Inquisition. But... That's like the only thing I think you could consider cutting. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd cut anything else. Need gut shot to restart the combo on the stack. I don't know if you need gut shot. It does help, but I don't know if you need it. It'll land if you bring in troll. Yeah, maybe. Warning. Flumping is known to the state of California to greatly increase the risk of heart attack, strokes, and other cataract failure. Please consult your medical professionals before attempting. The demonstration you see on your screen is being performed by a highly trained professional in controlled flump environment. True. Very true. Chat, don't flump unless you are a trained professional. Tomper, I will say, Tomper does make some good copy pastas. Tomper does make good copy pastas. Uh, sure. <laughs> the chef of pasta. Yeah. And good. And good because flump. Flump good. Hmm, flump so good. Okay, I'll stop. Can Bob build it? I think he can. Esper Sentinel, Nettle Sis, One Ring, Thopter Foundry, Urza. None of these cards stop my combo. This card's not that annoying because I just have all creatures. Can I take the Saga? I think I'm going to take Thopter Foundry, but, like, it's close. Maybe there's an argument for taking Urza, but I do have Solitude for Urza. I just don't think I care about Sentinel with this hand. Yeah, they're probably playing the uh, the list from the PT. Bet you didn't expect this one, bucko. Yeah, you might want to read that one. You might want to read that one. <clears throat> do I block? I mean, fuck it, we ball, right? <laughs> kind of want a card. <laughs> I kind of want to draw a card. I mean, the thing is, their hand sucks. So, like, giving them giving them a card is kind of... Like, their hand's awful. You know what I mean? So, giving them a card is kind of sketch. Ooh, that's nice. 
I guess that means that I can't pitch the Grief, but if we draw a Black Source, then we can just hardcast Grief next turn. So this is okay. Still not going to cast a Solitude. I'm reserving the Solitude for the Ursa, I think. Okay, they found a land. I'm still blocking. No! Fuck. Not like this. Okay, that's good. That is good. And now we just need to find a way to give Indestructible. Okay. Um... I have to take the ring, I think. Yeah, the ring does actually stop me from comboing. And then I can just Solitude the Ursa. Put the trigger on the stack. I definitely get the Bowmaster, right? And then I can just Bowmaster Flump and try to find the Indestructible spell. If I miss, I can target something else. I kill this. And I see Blank Goblin now has an entry on MTGO. Oh, wait, does that mean they... Somebody told me they were going to add Creative Technique. Did they do that this week? Uh, I'll take six. Oh, that's annoying. That sucks. Hmm, that does break up the combo, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, now what? I'm gonna pay, I think. Now what, chap? Still gonna get Bowmasters. He even drew it. I think they'll fetch EOT. Oh my god, if they fetch EOT... Come on, fetch EOT, you know you want to. Fuck. They're supposed to fetch there, God damn it! Maybe they'll cast Urza. If they cast Urza, they die. Surely they'll cast Urza this turn, right? I think I have to Solitude one of these idiots. I really hate it, but I think I do. Could have maybe waited to see if I could draw Ephemerate, but... If I draw Ephemerate, I can always just pitch the shields. Alright, meth five. <sighs> oh, chat, they're fetching. Chat, they're fetching. Do not pog. What's this? Come on. Mm. So, if I Bowmaster, do you think they bounce the flump? They probably just bounce the Bowmaster, right? I mean, I think I'm still gonna go for it. Okay. Okay. Running a dangerous gambit. Because we can draw a blacksmith skill. Okay, I'm gonna go one more. Blacksmith skill. Blacksmith skill. Fuck. Okay, that's not bad, though. Now, we get, I guess we just kill the Sentinel. Yeah, this is fine. We can kill the Sentinel. Let this happen. Uh, yep, this is okay. I do have seven cards in hand now, but... I mean, no way they replay the Sentinel, right? Yeah, they have to hold up the Spell Bomb. They're at 22. God, where's our... <laughs> We're not supposed to draw three of these. We're supposed to draw two and then one... Uh... <laughs> and then one... The Blacksmith skill. But we drew three of the wrong one. Could have drawn Infinite. Yeah, but if I, like, burn a Shields... I guess I'm trading a Shields for a Spell Bomb. Maybe that's fine. That might have been okay. I mean, I could just hardcast Solitude this turn, right? Yeah, I'm just going to shove with everything and then hardcast Solitude, I think. Just, like, trying to grind him out. Don't know if it's a great plan. Because they do gain a lot of life off this Solitude. Kill the Sentinel here. Could possibly force them to draw at some point to start the combo. How would I have done that? Like again, I could have I could have burned a shields to force them to use the spell bomb, but I didn't I didn't know if that was good. Maybe it was good. Yeah, they gained from spear anyways, that's true. Oh, I should probably turn this off cuz we did hit the sub goal today. Just so people don't like people don't think we uh Well, no, I want to leave it up cuz then I got to change the aesthetic. Yeah, I'll leave it up for now. But we did hit the sub goal today. <sighs> now what? One, two, three, four, five. They can make a six, six. Oh, the Shadow Spear text is. Wait, this deck loses to Shadow Spear too? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> this deck loses to everything. Fuck! Literally loses to everything. I can't believe it loses to Shadow Spear too. Just flavor text. It's so funny. This deck actually just loses to everything. God, that's so funny. 
Maybe they don't know. Maybe. I mean, I'm just dead, right? They just make a token and then give a trample. You know what? I don't even want to guess the Thoughtsies. I'm just going to play this. Shields the Solitude. Mm, does that matter? If shielding the Solitude matters, right? I don't think it does. I guess I get to keep the Solitude in play? Is that what you're thinking? Turns into Fog. It only gives one creature indestructible, and they can give their thing trample. So it's not really a fog. Also, I if no, that doesn't even work. If I block with solitude and shields it, they just bounce the solitude. Oh, and then I can solitude the token. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, I think this is good for me. I think this is really good for me, actually, right? Oh, no, I don't have the solitude in hand. <laughs> it's like, wait, I can just solitude this. But actually, I can't, because I don't have the solitude. <laughs> Never mind, it's horrible for me. I thought one of these was a Solitude. I should have thought these them last turn. I just went to three. Gutshot would have been huge. Uh, Yeah, Gutshot would have won the game, right? Because they sack Spell Bomb, then I Gutshot response and they die. Yeah, Gutshot would have literally won the game. That's a good point. Uh, Block with all four. Okay. I guess I don't block with the Bowmaster. Okay, block with all four. I probably have to Ephemeral Shields the Flumph. Target Flumph. Let damage happen. They are aware! No! I had to, I had to hope they did, they were not aware. Alright, yeah, we're dead. Alright, you and you and you. I had to hope they did not know. Okay, I think we are never comboing, so what I'm going to do is we are going to employ, we call this Plan B, alright? You guys ready for Plan B? Plan B, chat, Plan B. Oh sevens for the flumps. You know what's funny about Plan B? We still have to submit 63 cards. <laughs> we still have to submit 63 cards. Uh, Yeah, but we're just never comboing in this matchup, I think. Oh, you want the Ley Lines? True. 65. Maybe Spell Pierce is bad. Yeah, Spell Pierce kind of ass. They have a lot of creatures. Only had one mana left. Could you have cast another one even though they bounce you in the next turn? No, because they have mana to, they have enough mana to activate the Shadow Spear. And Shadow Spear is lingering. So to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure, and Jack can correct me if I'm wrong, I think the way that Shadow Spear works is if they activate Shadow Spear, even if I Ephemeral Shields after they activate Shadow Spear, I think it still does not have indestructible is that correct how does that work so is it a layers thing i honestly don't know how that works it's timestamps hammer snake bots okay so if it's a timestamp thing then it okay i got you i'm just gonna yolo i think honestly i'm just gonna grief pitch profane tutor i should have grief pitch profane tutor before getting the cauldra but all because of you. Center rebuke. So I just have to take Needle then? God, their hand sucks. <laughs> and two tap lands. Then we can just push their Stone Forge. Alright, song request from what the heck is available. What is available? I don't know. More Sentinels. I mean, they have to play Stoneforge, right? Yeah, they do. So they have Sword Rebuke in hand. Do I... Mm, I could Tef Mount Stoneforge. It's probably worse. Yeah, I'll just pay for both of these. How, did, how do you decide the day for the Pure Modern Abandoned Sounds very intriguing? So we did hit the sub goal today, be easy. I think what I'm deciding, I'm trying to think of like, I want to give people enough time, that's unfortunate. I want to give people enough time to build decks and test and stuff. So I think the plan is probably, I have two dates in mind. Either the 26th of this month or the 9th of September. The 9th is kind of far away, but maybe it's better to do it on the 9th. But I, I'm not 100% positive which one I want to do. They didn't play the Shadow Spear. 
Does that mean they drew exactly spell peers? Oh no, we know their whole hand, right? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> think the night this will release oh then we should probably do it the 26th then again once i decide on a date i'll uh, i'll make a twitter post and post it on discord like the official announcement and yeah, we'll do it from there but i think probably the 26th is gonna is gonna do it yeah i hate to say it distinction but i think the sideboard plan might be better than the main deck <laughs> as much as i don't want to say that i think our sideboard deck is a lot our game two deck is better than our game one deck so annoying with this hand it's like the one card that my hand couldn't beat i'm not gonna grieve there's no point in taking the spring leaf drum does the combo not work if you have less cards in the library or is there a way around that um so the way around that is a second copy of bowmaster that's the way around it it's actually not a bad draw because they're gonna bounce the cauldron then i could slam batter skull or maybe I even lead with Batter Skull. Yeah, I could play some Malakir Rebirths. We do have Grief and Solitude. They're bouncing the Stone Forge. Okay, I'm like kind of okay with that. I think. Not the best. Not the best. Do we Grief now? In case they drew Urza? Punished if I draw a... Yeah, I should Grief, I think. Can also can also hit, like, a Metallic Rebuke. I get Punished if I draw an Ephemerate, but I think this is fine. Okay, you can have the Cauldra. Let me just go Stoneforge for our last equipment. And then I'm just going to push the token now. <laughs> I like how this is our last equipment. I don't, I don't know why it's this one and not... Like any other sword, like Feast and Famine or something. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to be like a fake scam deck. But also, Malakir Rebirth does make the Stoneforge plan better too, right? <clears throat> you like Light and Shadow? Light and Shadow might be better, yeah. I could see that. I drew a spell. I drew Prismatic Ending? Oh, Talisman, okay. Alright, Cauldra Last Card. Need a good draw here. That is not a good draw. Do they, they know about the Cauldra, right? I guess we have to play defensive Cauldra here, right? Even untapped land would have allowed us to suspend Tutor. I think we have to go defensive Cauldra. Okay, that's fine. Still last card, Cauldra. Yeah. Okay, no attacks. Put in the Cauldra. <clears throat> Can we possibly race them with the Sword of War and Peace? I guess they only have one card in hand. So attacking deals them eight damage. I guess I do gain four. I can go put in sword. Wait, isn't it better to just go put in batter skull, untap equip batter skull, and then I can have vigilance? I think that's better, right? And that lets me suspend tutor too. We can go tap land, suspend, end of turn, batter skull, untap, just equip batter skull. I think that's better. I think I like that line better. The Batter Skull's the one they don't know about. That's kind of funny. What's up, Chan? <clears throat> one, two, three. They're still two mana away from Cauldra. Okay, that's fine. Except. Are we looking on ad breaks, by the way? What time is it? Oh, I'm behind. I gotta run an ad break. Chat, three minutes of ads. Oh, this is awkward because now they're just gonna name Batter Skull. Uh, three minutes of ads. Thank you for your patience. If you'd like to watch the ads, you can subscribe to the channel with Twitch Prime or get lucky enough to get, get the sub. Three minutes, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Warden, peace equals Volshock, Morningstar. Yeah. Okay, so they named the Batter Skull. So, now what? They go on the offensive with Sword. They take eight. This is weird. This is really weird. What else am I going to do? I could still just play defense. Like, if I don't attack, they can't attack. Because I'm only gaining one life. I'm Well, I'm gaining one life, and I'm taking seven, like, Sword on Batter Skull. Mm. Oh, I see. Your plan is just go Sword on Batter Skull, go, and then just Propane Suitor for a land, hard, hard equip Cauldra. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Let's do that. I see what your plan is. Yep. 
I see what your plan is. Yeah, let me just tutor for a land. It's annoying. This game's gonna get so weird. This game is gonna get really weird. I'm gonna nettle cyst. That's bad. Okay. Still can't really block next turn. And it's not irrelevant. We know they have Cauldra in hand. Because they can go Cauldra and they equip Nettle Cyst on Cauldra. Do I tutor for a land? Probably, right? Just to guarantee it. Okay. B4567. Tutor for Solitude. No, I think I like this better. He wants to call the trades in combat, move yours. Uh oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. And I can just move everything on the stone forge. The problem is I can't move the batter skull because they have that needled. That's the issue, right? I I can never move the batter skull because of this. If I were that scared, you could have griefed. Maybe I should have griefed the cauldron actually instead of equipping there. Yeah, griefing cauldron might have been better. Uh, what is this attack? That attack doesn't make sense at all. What? <laughs> what? What is that attack? So what's going to happen here? All right, Gabo, what do you about do you want? If you have a link, that'd be preferred. So what's going to happen here? They're going to put in Cauldra. We're going to trade. How much damage are they going to take? Uh, They're going to take eight. Trample over for six. Uh, Yeah, so six and then two cards left in hand. So they'll take eight. Oh, no, we need to do it on seven TV. Hold on. I'll find it on seven TV. I think I already have that one enabled on seven TV. I think I might. Hold on. Nope, I do now, though. I do now. So, I attack. They put in Cauldra. They block, take eight, go to two. We trade, and then I move the Cauldra to the Stoneforge. Next turn, put the sword on it. Do I have any possible answer for Needle? Uh, the only one is Teferi Time Raveler. Yeah, I think that's another plan as well. I could just go let the trade happen, and then cast Grief, which maybe is better. What is this? Oh... That's bad. I guess the good news is I get to take the Cauldra? Wait, what? They killed the Stoneforge Mystic? They can't target it. Oh, it is protection from white! Let's go! <laughs> I forgot it had bro white. <laughs> sort of Warrant Beast, man. <laughs> Let's go. Total. That's that's what we call the hidden text on Sword of Warrant Beast. That is hidden text, folks. Hidden text. So hidden that I didn't even know about it. Jeez. Protection from white. Protection Papegaphone. I should play out my lands. Uh oh fuck. Uh Jesus. Okay, can I beat the cauldra? Can I beat the cauldra is the question. They can't combo me. Yeah, but the Ursa gives them ugh, Jesus. Ursa gives them a lot of mana. I think I just beat the Cauldra with Grief, right? Yeah, I think I have the Cauldra beat with Grief. I'm going to take the Urza. And then I think I move the Sword to the Grief. Next turn, move the Cauldra over. I think I like this. Because I think if I just go Cauldra on Grief, it's lethal next turn, right? Even through their Cauldra. Uh, not necessarily, because they can put... Fuck, they can put Nettle Cyst. They can go equip Nettle Cyst onto the Germ. I guess they can't Nettle Cyst and Shadow Spear, because they had a Tap Land. That Tap Land's massive. So they actually, I think, have to Nettle Cyst to not die, right? Pro White Menace. Uh, true, they can't double block. That's a good point. Oh yeah, the Grief is just lethal. Pro White Menace. Ooh. <laughs> right. Protection from White, folks. Protection from White. Yeah, they're just dead. And if they attack with Sentinel, I just block. Called the... Uh... Let's go. Protection from white, folks. <laughs> Turns out the backup deck is much better than the primary deck. Backup deck, much better than the primary deck. All right. I got to take a piss real quick, chat. I'll be right back. Thank you all for tuning in. Two minutes. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Flump time. Where is my... There it is. All right, chat, be right back. Don't go anywhere. Chat, you forgot to tell me to update the record. Everybody's going to be watching that video, like the, the VOD thinking that it was match five. 
<clears throat> oh sevens for the VOD watchers. You know what'd be awesome? If we won if we lost every game one but won every games two and three. That'd be sick. Yeah, the record the record is flumpf and flumpf. <laughs> I'd miss the whole league. Uh no no. That was only match one. You're a good distinction. Uh if you were not here for our first league, holy that league took a long time. I mean, it's good if we draw Black Source. No way Flump would lose two games. Well, I'm saying we lose every game one, board out of the Flump combo every time, and then just board into the uh, the better deck. That kind of helps. <clears throat> Blacksmith skill is kind of funny against Hammer. If they go for a hammer, we can scale their Ornithopter. Do you think that if I... Oh, this is awkward. <clears throat> because if I go for Solitude first, and then... I guess Solitude, they skill, I skill. My skill resolves Hexproof. Their skill gets countered, then they don't equip the hammer. My Solitude also gets countered. Yeah, I think this is fine. This works out pretty weird, but... Oh, no, it's a lot worse against that card, though. Shit. Oh, it's a lot worse against that card. And I can still blacksmith skill. I kind of have to, right? I think I have to. God, that's gross. It's much better if they have skill, but much worse if they have this card. I forgot they usually play this card. Now that they, uh, they, don't, they don't usually play skill anymore. They've mostly cut it for this card. Wait, what? That doesn't work the way that I want it to? I thought skill meant they couldn't target it. Does that not work? I could have sworn that that worked the way that I wanted to. Well. I mean, I was probably dead anyways. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we've learned a, we've learned a valuable lesson today. I think the combo is still good against them. I'm going to keep in the combo. I'm going to go push for Pierce. I think that's it. So what am I thinking of? Oh, I'm thinking of Vines of Basswood. Okay. I'm just so used to playing with that particular card. That's bullshit. It should work like Vines. I'm just saying. <clears throat> it really should work like Vines. Yeah, yeah. Thinking of Vines. <laughs> maybe if I had led with Blacksmith Guild, do you think I could have tricked them into, into thinking that it did work? And maybe they would have cast their card and then I could have solitude it? We're missing white mana, but we have the entire combo with Thoughtseize. I think you have to keep these hands. And we even have a backup Bowmasters to like pick off their Sentinel on turn one. But I think it's fine. Give her Mantle, Needle, Drum, Paladin, Paladin. This is only their stuff, right? They can't give her my stuff. Um, I just want to take Give her. I don't think Needle does anything. Mantle and Drum are kind of the same card. I'm just going to take Give her, I think. Does Vines even remove equipment? Uh, Well, Vine specifically says... The creature cannot be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. So in that situation, if your opponent goes for hammer and you vines their thing in response, it does work. Because their creature cannot be targeted by their own equipment. Also, turn three kill, just saying. They can't break it up, right? Not with their current hand. Okay, it doesn't change much. Okay, so unless they're playing the Solitude version, they are dead. Some of these versions do play Solitude, but... Yeah, you get to see it firsthand. You get to see the combo. I know everybody in chat wanted to see this, so here's your opportunity. It's the effect that gives Shroud. Your th Vines of Asswood. Vines of Asswood. Boss champ. Combo. Alright, if you do not have Solitude in your deck, I believe you are dead. Um... Let's go Bowmaster, target, ability on the stack, indestructible, F6, save targets. The best part about this combo is you just sit here and it just does the thing. <laughs> it's the best part about the combo. Don't have to click any buttons. <laughs> just sit here and watch the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. 
What's the better card in Modern, the One Ring or Uro? Well, considering that Uro is currently banned, um, the One Ring is the only card that's legal, so I would say the One Ring. It sometimes bugs MTGO out. I've done the combo, I think, two or three times now, and it hasn't bugged out for me, but I've seen it bug out for other people. Yeah, this is pod racing. <laughs> Sit back and relax, folks. Welcome to the show. I like how they're just letting it happen. Props to our opponent for letting it happen. They're a big fan of watching the show. <laughs> yeah, as you as you approach, you know, 50 cards in hand, it slows down a little bit. <laughs> All right, game three. Time to get a beer. Yeah, get a beer. You guys can go take a break and go get a snack if you want. Yes, and this is why we're playing 63 cards, because our win condition is decking our opponent, and we have to have more cards in deck. I actually played, oh my god, it was so funny. I played a I played a league match off stream, and my opponent, who was like, you know, they they they're like a fan of the stream, so they knew they knew what was going on, they knew about the combo, and they literally just boarded in their entire sideboard, and I couldn't win. It was awesome. It was so good. It's not bad. Um Oh, and now I know how blacksmith skill works, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they boarded the sideboard, then you have to bring in your sideboard. <laughs> if it was worth, maybe I should have played a tap lane. I'm like representing something, but paying two life to do so, maybe it's not worth it. I don't think I'm supposed to grief there, because I really need the tutor to find bowmasters. Like, I want to go tutor on two, flump on three, and then try to kill them on four. They did not attack. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Cool. My Solitude's no good, because they do have Giver. How would that work in Paper Ascent? Can you, can you hide how many you're citing? It would be kind of weird to do it in Paper, because then you're like, then you actually have to, you have to have a conversation of like, well, who has to submit first? You know what I mean? There's, there's probably some weird things that happen in Paper. Yeah, I really wanted to draw a black card there. Let's cast Flump. I'm going to shock here to hold up skill. We had this discussion on Mana Symbols channel about whether the opponent should have any cards he boarded in. I mean, it like it definitely comes up in certain spots, and this is a spot where it would certainly come up, right? Like, if you're playing this deck in paper, and you see that your opponent just shuffles in their sideboard and, like, doesn't start taking cards out, then you just do the same thing, right? It's weird. Like, who has to submit first? And I don't actually know, like, what the tournament procedures are for that. Right, well, what we're saying during sideboarding, it's like, at what point do you have to, like, stop shuffling and say, okay, I've presented, this is what I'm going to present this game, you know what I mean? Um, that should be fine. Yeah, we can just take 12. Deal. There's no reason to force the Solitude, right? Just take 12. <laughs> yeah, instead of busting, it says flumpin'. Yeah, I would like to draw a black card so I can grief them first. I don't know what they could have, but... Flumpfin makes me feel... Flumpfin, 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 flumpfin. Chat, I think we are just gonna shove. I don't really see an option, right? So we should go Bowmasters first. And then with the ability on the stack... Okay, well, you can target. Wow, they... Wait, so... Did they board out Solitude? I'm confused. Because they didn't Solitude me game two, right? Interesting. So now... <laughs> now we're in a position where... Uh, we have to draw another skill before they find another Solitude, because they can Solitude the Bowmaster. <laughs> so this is going to get weird. <laughs> and I've already played my land. Oh, well. That's anticlimactic. Damn it. Uh... Ah! Fuck. They just had double Solitude. It's gross. Just had double Solitude, huh? Is there anything I can do? on seven cards first. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't, like, just get a bunch of cards first. And I guess I let this go. Sure. You get one more card. 
still just draw another Bowmaster next turn. I don't know how many Solitudes they play. Um, should I save the Grief? I probably should kill their Giver. So they don't have a second creature to move the, the Hammer onto. Imagine if I had a Fembrate here. Blink this, kill this. All right, we just need to draw another Bowmaster. Okay, Bowmaster off the top, please. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Maybe there's not that much difference between five and three. I was thinking there was a difference between five and three, but there probably isn't, right? Yeah, you're probably right. You didn't draw the Shadow Spear, come on. My brother in Christ, you didn't draw the Shadow Spear. Yeah, get out of here. All right, Bowmaster. Bowmaster! I don't know how many solitudes they play. Bowmaster! One time! Master of Bows. Uh, let's get the Shadow Spear. Alright, alright, alright. Kind of weird. I don't know what happened game two. Maybe they just didn't realize that their solitude, like, stopped the combo. Or maybe they didn't have solitude in their deck for game two. But that was kind of weird. Because they just let me combo game two. They must have just boarded it out. That's the only logical explanation. Or they just F6'd and went to go take a shit or something. Blump got too much Riz. <clears throat> could we play Lauren's Escape over the Ephemeral Shields? You could, but Shields is free. Shields has Convoke, which is important. The fact that you can cast this for zero mana. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's not equal to the damage dealt. Game two, you have waited to let opponent and attack. Uh, maybe time to make a pro black. Uh, I don't remember the situation. Not sure, not quite sure what you're talking about. The same just needs black mana. I'm going to keep it. Kind of been getting burned by the mana base a little bit, which, I mean, makes sense. Maybe that means we shouldn't play so many blue lands. We have a lot of blue producing lands. We don't have that many blue cards. I don't remember the exact situation, but it's in the past. Was the reason you don't? Flump says, you and each opponent draw a card. It does, it's not draw cards equal to the number of damage dealt. It's just draw a card. Yeah, it's fine, Driven. It's fine. It's fine. Doom scams in the chat. Doom scams, please and thank you. Doom scams, please. When I solitude the grief. Um, I mean, if I solitude... So they, they play grief, right? I have to solitude pitch a white card then they still get another card, so I'm just down one extra card versus them having a 4-3. Maybe that's better. You might be right about that. I was F6'd, but maybe it was better. Like, would I trade this blacksmith skill in my hand to not let them have a grief? Probably, but I mean, I'm dead anyways. My hand just is ass. <laughs> like, it just doesn't matter. Oh boy, I love scam. All right, let's board up the combo, I think. God, I just love Scam so much. Mm, so much. So I have to board out two more cards. Probably the Spell Pierces don't seem very good. Could do like... Do I want the Moonlight? No, Moonlight sucks. <clears throat> I love Scam. What do you love more? One Scam, two Hammer Time, three Pioneer. Can I say none of the above? I, I don't mind Hammer Time. Hammer Time's fine. Hammer time at this point is honestly the good guy. This sucks, but I think I have to grief them just to keep them off grief. Um. Oh, update record. Thank you. Oh well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put this here because we're not gonna win this match. We're gonna. This is. I. I can see into the future. I can assure you, we're not going to win this match. Well, that actually gives me a chance. Now I can wait a turn on the Stone Forge. I guess Stone Forge Mystic. What did they draw that they would shock for? Um, I guess I'll get Cauldra first. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get the other one anyways. Yeah, I ask what you think. What? Uh, yeah, there's a command for that. I made a YouTube video last night. <laughs> Alright, force them to cast the Fury. We know four of their cards. I'm gonna get the... 
sword, I think? No, I actually think I want the better skull more. It's close. <clears throat> it's gonna be rough when they Blood Moon. Only in one swamp, we could just draw planes. But yeah. Maybe I'm supposed to. I don't know. If I take the Blood Moon, then they just like Thoughtseize my Stone Forge, my hand doesn't do anything. I just think that I can't win either way. Dude, fuck this scam deck, man. <laughs> just fuck this scam deck. It's so miserable. No. I actually drew the planes too. Okay. I should have left up Swamp, right? Discard Dothy. <clears throat> All right, can you beat a batter skull, fool? Show me that you can beat a batter skull. What's up, batter skull in the house? Block, 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 block. Swamp? Nope. If I attack, they just double block, right? I think attacking is bad. We can just wait till next turn, draw land. Just holding on defense. Well, now if they K command, I can pick it up. I wish that I had gotten the, um, kind of wish that I had gotten Batter Skull and Sword, because they probably couldn't beat the Sword. Imagine if I just went, like, Sword Equip there, attack for six. Um, Griefing them is nice, because it keeps them off Fury, and I am nowhere near casting the Grief anyways. Like, if they have Fury and no Red Guard, it's this. Orcish Bowmaster. Okay. Does Malice do anything? No, it doesn't do anything. Go. Cop Red. Thank you for the seven months. Appreciate that, buddy. Chat, for those of you who weren't here earlier, we did hit the sub goal today and um, haven't 100% decided on the date for Pure Modern, but I think it's likely going to be the 26th of this month that's the i believe the last saturday of august so uh start brewing get your decks ready start brewing chat <clears throat> so we know they have malice i'll just take this whatever <laughs> so dick what about your decks that's canister canister underscore mtg I haven't thought about it yet, Mike, but after... I don't know. We'll see how, like, the, the first couple events go after this third event. Um, Yeah, we'll just attack with the Germ token. I guess they can block with Bowmaster and Malice. Oh, no, wait. This exiles, right? Yeah, so they can't even do that. I think. Or no, wouldn't it... I don't know. No, I think it would go to the graveyard as part of state-based... As part of, like, just damage. Yeah, it only exiles if it's bigger. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Nice scam deck. All right. I guess we're not one and two yet, huh? We do have a game three to play. I'm not going to dress up. I will not partake in Halloween shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, the sideboard is broken. I mean, you're just never comboing against scam, right? Turn one grief, how original. I guess I can't even complain because I have grief in my deck. Oh, they have a Ragavan. It's arguably worse for me. Oh, can't beat a Blood Moon, so I guess I'll Thought Seize you. Can't really beat any of these cards, to be honest. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't need to say against Scam. <laughs> True. Ooh, they can't cast that. Brick. There's no shot you drew another Blood Moon, right? There's just no way. Okay. What's my plan this game? What's my plan this game? I don't even know. Cut three sideboard cards, meaning you can pull the juke and go down to 60. Uh, that doesn't work the way that you want it to, Distinction. What am I tutoring for versus just playing Stoneforge? What if I just went Stoneforge for Sword or Batter Skull and then just trade? I kind of like that, I think. I really want to trade for this Ragavan. I think I get better Skull. 63-12. No, no, even if you do that distinction, you can't sideboard. Like, when you sideboard, you have to have the same number of cards. 
like you you can't go down to less than 63. If you submit 63 game one, you have to submit at least 63 for game two. You can go up, but not down. Yeah, you don't have to register the exact same amount. You can you can register less, but you can't re- or you can register more, but you can't register less. The ban announcement is next Monday, or this upcoming Monday. They take. They took to ferry. Your turn. Three, six, go to seven. I can't even cast shield next turn, right? I'm just dead on board. As I go to seven, if I shock, I go to five, then I just, I'm just dead on board. Don't really think I can win this game. Right, yeah. Now they get to ferry. Yeah, all right, even. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. God, I hate Scam so much. It's like so awful to play against. <laughs> so awful. You register a 66 card deck in Pioneer to enable your Ampo sideboard. <laughs> yeah, technically you could. Yeah, you could. Yeah, when I say Scam, I, I clearly mean uh, Rakdos Midrange. Slightly more powerful Pioneer. Uh, I think it's a little bit different than that, but it's... It's similar to that, yeah. Uh, sand does not seem very good. Sand also does not seem very good. Okay, two lands. Flump, Tutor, Shields. This is technically combo. Technically combo. Yeah, that's true. The mana base in Pure Modern is a lot better than the mana base in Pioneer. I mean, I think it's very similar to, like, if you take a snapshot of Modern before MH2, there's, like, a lot of those decks, and maybe not, like, specific decks, but a lot of those archetypes and deck-building theories can apply in Pure Modern as well. Dredge. How's our Dredge matchup? I mean, they don't really interact with us. We might be faster. Yeah, I guess that's true. Fable and Binding are still part of the format. <clears throat> Creativity is probably really good in Pure Modern, right? I guess you don't have Archon, but you can just go for the Emrakul shit. Oh, right. Right, I remember. Dude, why are we playing against Trench? Just the actual hard counter, man. The actual hard counter. Well, we actually can't win game one, right? So there's, like, no point in playing it out. Like, we're just dead. Yeah, that's true, because I am 1-2. I think we have to go for the post-board plan. Okay, there's two options here. We can just go Leyline and hope that we can mull to Leyline, because if we have Leyline, then we can combo them, or we could pivot to the post-board plan. <coughs> Well, I can see there. So for those of you who don't know, the combo does not work if your opponent has a dredger, because part of the combo is you have to you have to have your opponent draw cards and they can just replace every single draw with a dredge. And like if they replace a draw with dredge, it doesn't trigger Bowmaster. So the combo does not work. Like you cannot combo against them. I think I might just keep in the combo and hope that I can multi ley line. I don't think I want to go for the uh, the Stoneforge plan. I don't think it's gonna be good enough. It's just like Cut to fairy and go for the ley lines and just hard mold the ley line, I think. Yep, definitely not going to find the ley line. <laughs> yeah, once again, proving that Assault Loam is the tier one deck that everybody wants to play. Ley line, please. Ley line, please. Not, I don't ask for much. Maybe I am asking for too much. Chad, am I asking for too much? Uh, I mean, I'm on four. I just can't win if I don't have Leyline, right? I think I have to mold the Leyline. Fuck it, we ball. Okay, we did it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Woo! We did it, chat. Woo! Go. <laughs> <clears throat> we did it. <laughs> Go. Maybe they snap concede. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they didn't board an answers for Leyline. <laughs> we did get there. I don't know if it's this is necessarily getting there. <laughs> I don't remember if we showed them a Black Source last game. Blue-black. 
Oh, 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 we're on the hard gas plan, huh? I mean, if they play a prize to Melgum, that's a five turn clock. Oh, no, please don't play Melgum. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, ten turn clock. Ten turn clock, chat. Okay. Go. <laughs> ten turn clock. Dude, imagine if we lost to just like one one beatdowns. That'd be embarrassing. <clears throat> it's okay. Be cool. Oh, well. Fine. Ew, really? Tome Scour? This is where we're at? Alright, I'm off it. Yeah, I mean, we're not dead, but you know, whatever. Alright, yeah, this is, this is, uh, I mean, I didn't know it was going to be this bad, but this is not going well. I mean, the dredge match doesn't count. Like, come on, nobody fucking, dredge is unplayable right now. <laughs> the dredge match does not count, so we're actually one and two. We're not counting the dredge match yet. It's just not counting. Want to gamba for one and four? All right, I guess we can gamba. I'm actually going to run an ad real quick. Wait, why won't, why won't it let me run an ad right now? Hey, is Twitch being weird? Have you guys been getting ads the whole time? Oh, no, I just I had to refresh. All right, I'm going to run a quick ad break because I'm a little behind on ads. Chat, if you would not like to see the ads, you can subscribe to the channel with Twitch Primer. Get lucky enough to get a gifted sub. Thank you for your patience. Three minutes. We'll be right back. Adge, adge, adge. I'm going to wait till the ad break comes back, and then I'll run the gamba so people on the ad break can see the gamba. Send it in if the admins let you play a sixth league game because Dredge doesn't count. It doesn't. It doesn't. When is Dingo's Doghouse event? I hope that Dingo's Doghouse event is not on the same day as my Pure Modern event because we did just hit the sub goal today. <laughs> I know it does. I know it shows that we like up here that we didn't, but we did hit the sub goal today, which is very very pog. Chad, are you excited for Pure Modern? I think I'm gonna do it on the 26th. Oh, we can, I guess we can discuss that. So the Pure Modern event is going to be available for all subscribers. And if you are sub to the channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it. The, what I did the last couple of times was set up the melee event. And then there's going to be like the entry to the melee event. You need a code for it. I'm going to put the code in the Discord under the sub channel. And then if you link your Twitch to your Discord, once you're sub to the, to the channel, it you'll gain access to that sub channel. Um, if for some reason I know there's issues with like Twitch and Discord linking or whatever, if there's an issue, you can send me a DM with like just a screenshot showing that you're subbed and that'll give you the code. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to do it on tw the, on August 26th. I think that's the plan. Doghouse 6. Lord of the Bings. Okay, so it's the, it's the week before. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I, well... I still haven't decided. I'm, I'm, I'm still making... I'm still thinking about it. Maybe we'll do an open. It just feels like if I do an open, I have to have a, a much better prize pool. Cause it's it's going to be a lot more people in the event. You know? Assuming that I do do an open. I haven't decided yet. People are about the prizes. Okay, I'm going to fire a Gamba. Let's fire a quick Gamba. All right, chat. Gamba is going... 2-3 Gamba is going live. I'll leave it up for two minutes. 2-3 Gamba is up. Will be 2 3. It's really 2 2 because that last match didn't count, but. <clears throat> it's commander players play with webcam, so I wonder if there's a way, a way to do that with MTGO webcam for a tournament. Um, yeah, people, some people do that. Like, um, like a remote, remote, whatever, remote match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just like have the camera and like hover it over your battlefield or whatever, you know? Wait, you're saying MTGO versus paper? So, like, one person plays on MTGO and one person plays in paper? I don't think that would work. Is that what you're suggesting, Cop Red? Because I, I don't... I feel like that would not... I don't think you could do that. I guess you could? It would be really weird, though. No, because how do you target stuff on Moto? What's up, Fleck? It's like, I can't... I can't target your stuff on your webcam on my... When I'm, like, playing on Moto, right? <laughs> oh. Whoops. Earthquake. 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 Didn't mean to do that. My bad. I'm thinking about it, Fleck. I meant playing it. I'm going to have my pure mo my pure modern tourney the week after. But it's not really interfering with anything, so I might play in it. Ooh, the sand's not bad. Put back island, caverns, pitch swamp, I think. You ever cast a flump on turn one? Wooded Foothills. And if you reveal Gigantha. Okay. Did well as a Delver bro last night. Let's go. Did you clean up? 
When's the no ban list pure modern? <laughs> no ban list pure modern, huh? What would that look like? I mean, it's probably better at that point to just do a no ban list tournament, right? Which we could do that at some point. We'll see how we'll see how well this next one goes. I think the first two peers have been pretty successful, but we'll see how this next one goes. Okay, so they know about the ephemerate. Just need a Bowmaster. If I draw a Bowmaster, I can kill them on turn two. <laughs> you did the Maddening Hex, dude. That card is so good against four color. It's like, it's actually crazy against four color. Lost to eight Ghast. I think that matchup is normally not great for Delver. Just because they have like, they have Chalice. They have Chalice and Urza Saga. But I guess you have Wasteland for Saga. It's close. So if I draw Bowmaster, I can go cast Bowmaster, target Flump. Uh, trigger on the stack, Ephemeral Shields, target Flump, tapping both my creatures. But please inform me, or I may acquire about receiving additional information regarding how to pick up my dual disc for this pure modern event. <laughs> dual discs, huh? They've already played their land. I think I'm going to block, because I just want to give myself the maximum shots of finding a Bowmaster. Bowmaster. Okay. Well, I can just go to Fairy Bounce Goyf. It's pretty good, right? Seems good. That is not a Bowmaster. Mod check Bowmaster. So now... It's not great. Fuck. Stop! I don't need more of those! I have enough! I don't need more of those. Come on! Come on, man! I have enough of that. Okay, let's do it. Gen Saga. I'm starting to think Flump isn't a competitive deck. Look, you shut your mouth, all right? Keep your shitty opinions to yourself. <clears throat> Even though you're correct. You're just extremely dead, right? 16. Yeah, we can't possibly win. All right. Next. Hmm. I don't even want a sideboard. I guess I can bring in Fatal Push over Spell Pierce. Yeah, let's do that. Fortunately, distinction, if you're still watching, this is uh, this is not going so well. Not going so well. It's probably a good way to build this deck, though. Right? There's got to be there's gotta be some way of building this where you can make it somewhat competitive, I think. You just have to somehow play more good cards. I don't know how, I don't know how you go about playing more good cards, but I feel like there's got a way to do it. Yeah, well, and that's the problem, too. It's not just the fact that you have to play so many bad cards. It's the fact that your combo loses to, like literally a stiff breeze like your combo just loses to everything now this hand on the other hand <laughs> this is the best hand we've had all day and you can probably see why ew your teamer so take veil oh, i have to take bolt too ah oh, man their hand's really good against the grief scam well i obviously have to take bolt that's the one that i have to take the most um, now what's the next one? It's either Veil or Channeler. I guess Spell Pierce gets me too. I'm going to take Veil, and they're going to play Channeler Bobble, and then we can do the thing. I could have left them with Veil, taken Goyf, because now they might hold up Spell Pierce here to protect the Goyf. Right, that's the problem, is your your combo... Like, you, you it, it's not just the combo, right? Like, not only is this a three-card combo where you need Flump, Bowmaster, and a way to protect, but you need more than that because you need another protection spell for, you know, you both. You need, like, double Blacksmith skill on both your Bowmaster and your Flump or else they can just draw into a removal spell and kill one of your combo pieces. So it's like you just need so many things to go right. Wow, they are going to hold up Pierce. Interesting. Okay. Yep, that's fine. I will choose not to pay. Alright, 14, go. They don't get the draw of fail. Mm, right, I guess fail and spell pierce are the exact same thing in that case. Nice mana base. I'm sorry, what? This is modern, not pioneer opponent. You realize that. <laughs> this is modern, not pioneer. <laughs> 
did they think that like do they think expressive iterations banned? Maybe they maybe this is just their fifth expressive. Maybe they're a pioneer player and they're just used to this card to expressive being banned, so they just kind of assumed. And they put Reckless Impulse in their deck. That could be. I'm surprised you don't think Theory is worthy of getting the access grief is. I mean, I think they're both pretty egregious. They're both in the best like both of them happen to be in the best deck that abuses them. But I don't know. I, I think grief I don't know. I just think long term grief is more of a problem. That they're they're both kind of rough. Okay, that's fine. Fine ish. I think Fury holds more decks down than grief. Ah uh, It's weird. Like you're you're kind of right, but at the same time, um like it's not necessarily all about grief holding decks down as like because turn one griefs like turn one grief plus feign death kind of holds every deck down, right? So it's it's like Fury might be more detrimental to a specific part of the metagame, but grief is much better against the metagame at large. Is like I think is the way that I like like to, like to think about that. You're nine. Well, this is my only shot this game. Not a very good chance, but and this is likely not going to work. I think grief helps our tier B and C decks like reanimator stuffs and things. I mean, you could make the same argument about Fury, right? I guess, mm, what, Scam, Rhinos? What other decks play Fury besides Scam, Rhinos? Ponza? It's not really a lot of good ones, right? A lot of those, like, Boros. Oh, I guess, yeah, Omnath, too. I was thinking, like, the Boros Lotus Field decks that Spike played a lot. But yeah, I guess Omnath. Creature decks can play around Fury easily. Uh, not easily, but they can. Yeah, they, they can make concessions. And, like, here's the thing about Fury, too. Um, and maybe this is more Bowmasters than Fury, but a lot of the Yogmoth decks just cut all of their ignoble hierarchs and birds of paradises in favor of Gilded Goose and Delighted Halfling. And that's, you know, again, partly due to the fact of that Bowmasters, but it's also some sort of insulation against Fury, kind of. It's not as much, because if you go, you know, Goose Halfling, those both still get cleaned up by Fury. But people have made, like, plenty of people have made deck-building concerns or considerations uh, because of because of Fury. And you can do that. That is a thing you can do. It's not easy, but you can do it. I have to hope that this goes the distance. I guess we can draw Bowmaster. Bowmaster would be a nice draw. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ban all the feign death cards. I feel like that's just putting a band-aid on the on the bigger problem. If those cards like if 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 the elementals did not exist, feign death would not be a playable modern card. It would be it would be horrible. There'd be nothing you could do with it. They just happen to print free spells that work extremely well with those, you know. Why didn't they attack? They ain't blocking. All right, that's my top card. Why are they doing this in draw step? I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Uh, I guess I'll take Bolt. All right, just don't draw another Bolt, please. It'd be the third, fourth Bolt, right? They've already gone through three Bolts. I guess at worst, they can still just go make a token double block. I mean, look how, look how messed up this Grief Ephemerate was. We grief ephemerated them, took their, their two best cards, and we haven't drawn, we haven't cast like a single other relevant card. I guess the protection spells against the grief, but like if you ca if you count those as just counter spells, like this grief has just gone the distance. Turn the grief, turn turn the grief sideways six times. It's kind of wild. That's how messed up these this interaction is, and it's not just ephemerate, obviously, Fain death, malice, all that stuff. <clears throat> Red elementals to only trigger ETB if cast. Oh, like hard cast. Oh, also, for those of you who weren't here earlier when I announced it, I made a made another video regarding unbans this time, because a lot of people in the comments section of the last video had asked me what my thoughts on unbans were. So I recorded a video off stream, and I'm going to be releasing that tonight after the stream. 
So after the stream, I will put a link to that video in the chat. I'll also uh, tweet it out, and I'll also put a link in the Discord. So you can watch that tonight. Can I unban the E-word? No, I'm good. I did it for Modern. It's going to be Modern tonight, and then I think I'm going to try to do another one for Pioneer. Although the Pioneer video is probably going to be shorter, because the ban list is like half the size. But I will say, after like looking at the entire ban, the, the entire modern ban list at length, for and I, I think I spent like the videos are like a thirty minutes long. Uh, there's really not a lot on the ban list that really, that should come off. I'll tell you that much. But I can't wait to farm some engagements. We love we love engagement farming in this channel. All right, tank tank get shadow spear. Cool. Six, which means I cannot kill them. All right. Attack you. <laughs> yeah, they found the line. They found the line of get Shadow Spear. Had people say to my face directly that Burktide would run a Splitter Twin combo? I mean, it probably would, right? You don't think it would? I mean it would it would be a different deck. It would just be it would be more Splitter Twin that happens to have Murktide in it, you know what I mean? It wouldn't be like a Murktide deck that splashes Splitter Twin. It would be the other way around. But those two cards would get played together for sure. You know what I would play Splinter Twin in? Rhinos. I would play the shit out of out of Rhino Twin. That deck would be incredibly based. That's an interesting draw. I think we start by pinging Flump and go from there. Supi draw. Should not. Did I board out Spell Beers? I did. Okay, I can tap my blue mana. This might work. This will be target flump, draw card, target flump, draw card, target flump, draw card. Or, sorry, on the third ping, I think we pinged the Ragavan, but we'll start here. Definitely start here. <laughs> Unbid Mystic Sanctuary? No, I'm good. Miss me with that. You can't have Sanctuary. Uh, ping, ping. Yeah, I guess we can go three times and then Monkey. pretty good oh that's a really good draw step so now i think i just go to combat and attack with grief and then i probably can just go post combat thoughts use you push the channeler in combat like whatever has the shadow spear on it just push that but i do think i want to thoughts use them pew 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 archering archering yeah opponent what do you got over there make a take a game action my brother in christ do something am i up 10 minutes right now <laughs> What's going on over here? It's got that McDonald's Wi-Fi. I played against a lot of slow players today. Shay, you gotta keep me company over here. I'm getting, I'm getting bored. He went to bed. Yeah, apparently. Cracking a fetch. All right, cool. We do be cracking a fetch. You are shocking. What the hell? Why are you shocking? I guess they have. Did they draw spell pierce too? They didn't draw spell pierce. Target my token. How did I win this game? <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Why did they shock? I guess they didn't have a basic to get. Cool. Game three. <laughs> Interesting. I would submit. <clears throat> Seven away. No, no, no. Oh, short this. I didn't tell you. We hit the goal. But I'm keeping the goal up because I need I I need to reorganize my the right hand side. Because if you as you can see, if I hide this. There's like some blank area up top and it looks bad. I mean, I guess we can just do that for now. But yeah, we hit the goal today. So I think well, the plan is to do it on the 26th. I think that's the uh, that's that's where I want to shoot for. I think that's a good that should be a good day. Because as far as I'm aware, I don't think I have anything going on that day. Scam pod. What about scam twin? Ooh, Tim kind of goes brazy. I think I'm going to go bottom skill, caverns, pitch courtyard. And if we draw a black card, I can go Thoughtseize into Grief Scam. We pod Grief into Fury, then Fury into what? Uh, Generous Int. <clears throat> Call that on Dive Down for wrongly predicting PT metagame. Yeah, I know. Look, man, you can't always win, all right? You can't, you can't win every time. 
You can only win uh, 33% of the time. 60% of the time, I'm right every time. Alright, Veil me and then I won't grief you. You don't have Veil. I do have Saga, though. That's really annoying. <laughs> I have to discard my entire hand and I can't beat a Saga in a million years. But, eh, do what you do, I guess. Do what you gotta do. Uh, can't beat any of these cards. Literally. I have to lead them with the Impulse. No, i probably lead them with Channeler. I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I have no cards, and you have a Saga. I mean, this is this is the thing about the scam decks, is like... Yeah, they can't beat the card Urza Saga. If you, if you do this whole thing and you discard your entire hand to scam your opponent and they just have an Urza Saga, like, you're never winning those games. And I think that's, you know, part of the why Rak part of the reason why Rakdos Scam plays Blood Moon. It's just because they know they can't beat that card. Oh, come on! Classic bug. We'll draw a Fatal Push, it's fine. I mean, it's not a bad draw. If I could find a land still dead. Give them everything for Delirium? Yeah, I mean, would have been nice if they didn't draw Tarmogoyf. Probably would have been fine if they didn't draw exactly Tarmogoyf that turn. Although, still would have been in bad shape against the Saga. Uh, okay, that can kill the first Saga token. This game's not over yet. White March. Yeah, but I mean, like, the Rakdos Scam decks don't play white. I don't You wish you got to experience Uro Modern? You definitely don't wish that. <laughs> it was horrendous. Trust me, you didn't miss much, Fleck. Mm -mm -mm. You know what's really huge, though? They did. Re so, not only did they release Commander Masters today on the update, but they also gave us the Space Lands. They gave us the Space Basics and the Space Shocks. I think they gave us all the Space Shocks. I can't imagine why they would do some and not the other. Alright, I've had enough. I quit. You win. Oh, distinction, that did not go very well. We got a match. <laughs> we won one single match and then lost everything else. Uh, I was going to say I hope it doesn't make it to YouTube, but it probably does, so I guess I'll do an outro. The outro is, I mean, just as much as we want to, chat, as much as we want to believe it, we just can't play Flump. It loses to too many things. It's just, I don't know. Maybe there's a better way to build it, but this is probably not it. <clears throat> yeah, do not flump. Do not flump. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment. Peace out. All right, let me return these cards, and we are going to play some Legacy. You guys ready for Legacy? The WWE shirt on. I'm not a man, 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 I'